hopefully this whole house saved. I'm my game crashed, so like let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. Here we are for Puff and playing the Sims. Bum, bum. Load game, load. The goal of these videos is to educate, entertain, and I hope you had a hot time. Hope y'all like and subscribe and enjoy the fun with us. So hi y'all, Stone Marley here, and today we are gonna Puff and play the Sims. You guys, we're back. It's been so long. I don't even know how long it's been since we've done Puff and play. I'm so excited. I'm gonna challenge myself. I started a brand new Sim. Miss Marley Highstone is her name. I know. <laughs> Y'all can laugh at my name and my characters later. The goal is that whenever she meets someone new, we have to puff with them because we have to make a new friend because I got a brand new JL for us. I want her to be working on this new aspiration that I've never attempted, but I'm excited. So I hope you're here for this new puff and play. I will hopefully actually make this a continuing thing on the channel if you guys are into it. I have fun with them, so even if you don't, whatevs. Ugh, load game. Ah, oh, it loaded and the whole house is here. Oh my gosh, I'm so like thankful right now. So this is our girl, you guys. This is the little house I just built her. You guys, I literally built this house in an hour and a half and that's really fast for me. So this is our girl, Marley Highstone. Isn't she cute? I just think she's really, really cute. Anyway, so she wants to be the neighborhood confidant. That's the new, the word was aspiration. That's the new aspiration I've never played as before. So it's fun for me. Successfully advise and influence the lives of other Sims. I did that 20 times. Okay, this is starting off all strong already, okay. Become good friends with five sims. Okay, every time we make a new friend, we'll have a nice puff. She's level seven of the charisma scale. Oh my goodness, this is like, she's got work to do. Okay, so while we wait for the neighbors to show up, all the townies in the save in the new crest area are people I have created and written their storyline. I will try to introduce them to you and give you like their background whenever they come about on what I know about them. I literally haven't played as any of them, but I started and built them all home. So like everybody has somewhere to live and like a place to, do their business and shit so we can go visit them. And they, most of them, I'm gonna say honestly, most of them are jobless, but I'm hoping that's like one of those neighborhood stories thing. We'll just make them all get jobs. She's obviously gonna need a job. Ooh, critic. I think critic would be fun. Let's give her the critic career. Oh, look at that. She's already going towards the computer. I love that for you. Oh, are you, you're already done writing? That was so fast. She wrote that so fast. I need you to get to level one. And you're clearly not there yet. Can I write two columns a day? Oh, the walk away is here. Look, the neighbors came over. Okay, here are our neighbors. We're gonna go meet our neighbors. If you're puffing, cheers. You can stop writing. I know you're really enjoying it. You're really close, but we're gonna let you stop because we need to make some new friends. Apparently she really wants to write and I'm like, it's fine, you can stop. And she's like, no, I really wanna write. How cute. Okay, she's going to go meet the neighbors. Oh, our neighbors are really cute too. Okay, so let's meet them. Oh, and there's another one over here. So Bevy is one of my Sims. We gotta make friends with her. And Max Mavix, Ma Mavix is his name. I'm sorry, Mavix. We're gonna try and meet everybody, make new friends. Fabia and Mavix live literally at this next house right here behind us. So we're gonna be able to see them a lot, hopefully. They also have a dog, I believe. I don't know what kind of dog I have forgotten since, but I'm pretty sure I gave them a dog. We're all new to the area. We're all looking for jobs. Let's get to know each other. Okay, you guys, it looks like clearly Ma Mavix wants to be our friend more. Let's talk about our problems with Mavix. We don't like being in the rain. Okay, how about everybody come inside? We'll form a group and we'll go hang out inside. Invite the neighbors in. That's what we need to do so then everyone will go inside because it's weird we're all standing outside. Who well, are these people? Is there someone new? Melee, nope, these ones are, those are the townies. We don't really care about the townies. I'm not here for the townies. Hi, yes, nice to meet you, but you're really, I don't care about you, Miko. I'm trying to make friends with Mavix here and you're ruling it for me. Oh, who's this? Agnes Crumblebottom. Agnes, why are you here? We'll do a respectful Ooh, look, did, did you guys see that creepy haunted bicycle? <laughs> there was a haunted bicycle. Oh, she did a respectful introduction. We'll be really nice to Agnes Crumblebottom. Oh, we can help her fix her bad relationship. Let's try and help her fix her bad relationship with Michael Scott or a Simon Scott, whatever his name was because she needs help. And isn't that one of our things we're trying to help? Oop, she clearly didn't want our help. We, we were too nosy. Oh no, Bevy went home. Let's just try and make friends with Mavix. Mavix, don't leave, we wanna be your friend. Oh, he's coming into our house. You guys, Mavix wants to come in and hang out. And let's discuss it. Interests with him, get to know him, let's be pals. Funny, we can tell a funny story that happened about us earlier. We're brand new to the neighborhood. We don't know anybody. Be our friend, Mavix. Let's ask him about his career. See, I don't think he has a job. I'm pretty sure I didn't give him a job yet, but my intention was, and his backstory is, him and Bevy live next door to Marley Highstone, and they run the uh, gym that was Kitty Corner across the street, the Aquatic Oasis Gym and Spa. So he does more of the gym side, she does more of the spa side. She's like, 
that's like their whole thing. Oh, apparently we need to go potty. So we, we walked away from Mavic's to go to the bathroom quick. We're gonna take a quick potty break. Oh no, she needs to eat also. And it looks like Mavic's is going upstairs. Don't put it on our computer. Don't you dare get on our computer. For the time being, I think we should just make something to eat and we can offer some to the Mavic's while he's here. We're like, Mavic's, we're making dinner. Do you want some grilled cheese? We'll make a family size so there's some for Mavic's if you want some. Hopefully he comes back downstairs because it's a little weird he went upstairs by himself, but whatever. What, did you get something else out and then, she got out cereal and then I made her make grilled cheese. So I'm just gonna put the cereal back in the fridge. We'll eat cereal in the morning. It's, you know, 8 p.m. It's dinner. It's actually like past dinner now. It's like munchy time. She probably has the munchies. Oh look, Mavix, don't eat, don't eat the cereal. He's gonna eat the cereal. Mavix, I'm making grilled cheese literally right now. Do you see me not, do you not see me making grilled cheese? And then you just took that cereal. <sighs> Guys, her hair is so long. Holy crap. Look at how long, do you, can you believe how long her hair is? I was like flaming for far too long. I apologize. <gasps> Marley discovered fire. Oh no, pause, pause. I can't die in the very beginning because I didn't put a freaking. oh, oh. Uh, stop, stop, get up, get away from there, get, stop, extinguish yourself, no, don't, oh my gosh, you guys, if Marley dies in the first 10 minutes of this episode, I'm gonna be so upset, get out of the fire, Mavix, come extinguish the fire, you're literally in my house, and you, did you leave, I don't know what happened to him, but he's gone, and now she's probably gonna die, because nobody can extinguish her, Mavix, Mavix, don't leave. Look at him, he's running outside instead of coming to her rescue. No, don't die, go outside, go, no. Oh my gosh, you guys, <laughs> what a start and end to this episode. She literally just died. Oh my gosh, I can't, I, I cannot. This is the most dramatic. I am so upset right now. I cannot believe she just died. I, can we not right now? Is this okay? I'm just gonna let it fast forward till she died. Ah, oh, death by fire! Just because I didn't put a fucking thing right there. Ah, oh, and now I feel like the whole house is gonna burn down because freaking Mavic. He's still outside. Mavic, how could you be at my house and just let me die? He's just outside. Just whatever. And Grim's just coming to kill her. Look, and the fire is spreading. The whole house is gonna burn down. This guy's rude. I can't believe Mavix didn't call the police for us, you guys. Grim, just take me already. I'm so annoyed. How disappointing. You guys, can you believe that just happened? What the heck? What the actual heck just happened? I feel like, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna re-download her. We're putting her back in. I don't care. We're going back to Newcastle. Okay. So you guys, I'm gonna leave this one right here. I cannot believe our first sim died in Mavic's letter. So that was like, now we can't be friends with him in this one. And it makes me kind of sad. I want to bring it back around, but hopefully each episode will make a new friend, um, try and maintain these friendships. I think our, our Marley number two is gonna do great. She's, she looks like she's gonna survive. <laughs> okay, well, blends and best wishes. I hope you had fun. I really enjoyed this. Um, it's gonna be an adventure. All right. Bye. <laughs> oh, okay, girl. See you later. Woo wee.